concerned about the numbers today because I just want to jump right into it. Uh, right triangle still. We're still going to deal with the right triangle. What I need your ability to do first today is I'm going to name an angle, and you're going to tell me what side's opposite, adjacent to it, and what's the heck the hypotenuse in the diagram. So let's take a look at number one right now. Take a look at number one. I'm looking at angle A, everybody. Look at angle A. What leg, what side is adjacent next to angle A? And when I say next to, don't give me the hypotenuse. When I say adjacent, I want a leg. All right, so what leg is adjacent to angle A? Name it. Let's go. What do you got here? I don't have time for AC, right? AC, so the adjacent side is AC. What's the hypotenuse in this diagram? AB. I don't care what angle I'm going from. It's always AB. And then finally, what's the opposite side if I'm looking at angle A? CB. We're all good there. Not a big deal. Now look at angle B. What's still the hypotenuse? AB. But now, what's your adjacent side? What's the leg adjacent to angle B? CB. And what side's opposite? AC. How do you feel there, all right? All right, can you just do it on a diagram for me now? Take a look at that next right triangle I've given you. I'm going from marked angle R. Label on the triangle, where's the hypotenuse opposite and adjacent side from R? On the diagram, label that for me. Where's the hypotenuse? Where's the opposite? Where's the adjacent side going from angle R? Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Don't wait for me. Where's the hypotenuse? RP, PR, yep, there's the hypotenuse. What'd you label as the opposite side? QP. And what'd we label as the adjacent leg? QR. How do you feel about that? How do we feel? Because now I'm gonna introduce that SIN, COS, and TAN. And it has something to do with adjacent opposite hypotenuse. All right, big introduction to you, big moment in your mathematical careers. All right, three ratios I'm going to introduce to you right now. The first ratio is called sine. This is an abbreviation for it. It's actually S-I-N-E, everybody. Sine, not sin. You want to drive me nuts? That's one way to do it, all right? Sine. And just so you know here, I, did I write this at the top? Yeah, I did. This little symbol right here is a Greek letter called theta. It just represents an angle. Okay, so angle A, angle B, angle C. All right, so don't get too stressed out about it. All right, it's a variable we use for angles. All right, so a sine of an angle is equal to the hypot opposite side over the hypotenuse side. Sine, S-I-N-E. Next ratio, COS. That's an abbreviation for cosine, C-O-S-I-N-E, cosine. How do you find that ratio? You take the adjacent side and divide it by the hypotenuse. Third and final ratio, T-A-N, short for tangent ratio. You take the opposite side and divide it by the adjacent side. All right, sine, cosine, tangent. Now, I am going to be in agreement with you. That's a lot to memorize. And when kids first start working with this, they get things flipped. They put things in the wrong spot. How is there a way to remember what ratio goes with what sides? How many of you are familiar with Pocahontas? Anybody? You can chime in here. Pocahontas, familiar? Yep. Uh, anybody know? Really wasn't in the history books or the movie too much, but uh, she's got a brother. Did you know that? She's got a brother. Nobody knew that? Okay. Her brother's name is Sokotoa. All right. Her brother's name is Sokotoa. And conveniently, her brother's name, Sokotoa, helps us out with these ratios. If you could spell it correctly, it's pretty powerful. Here's how you use her brother's name. 
the S in Sokotoa is for sine. How do you find the sine ratio? You take the opposite and divide it by the hypotenuse. The C, cosine. How do you find the cosine ratio? Adjacent over hypotenuse. And then finally, T for tangent. How do you find the tangent? Opposite over adjacent. So her brother's name, Sokotoa, if you can spell it correctly, pretty powerful, will lead you to all these ratios. All right, yes. Theta. You won't, you'll see actual vert like letters in there, like angle, like angle A, angle B, angle C. All right, we're probably not going to use theta too often. All right. All right, so actually, how do I use sine, cosine, and tangent? Let's jump right into a problem. Flip it over, kids. Flip it over. Everyone see right triangle ACB. I'm asking, as a fraction, find the sine ratio for angle B. All right, so we're going to all look at angle B, and I'm asking for the sine ratio. So you guys got to go back, look, or think about Sokotoa. How is the sine ratio found? By taking what side? Sine. I take the opposite side and divide it by the hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. And this is why we got good practice at the beginning of today's class. What is the opposite side from angle B? 15 over, what's the hypotenuse in the diagram? Okay, there's the ratio for the sine of angle B. 15 over 17, you don't need to do anything with it because we left it as a fraction, the direction set. We okay? One doesn't make you great. Tangent of angle W, find that ratio. Tangent ratio, got to go look back if you need to or think TOA, TOA. How do I find the tangent ratio? Opposite over adjacent. And we're looking at angle W now. Yes. Sure. No, that's because I'll show you we never will go from the right angle. We, I will never ask you to go from the right angle because that's the problem you run into. Okay? What's the opposite side from W? 10. And what's the adjacent leg from W? Not the hypotenuse, the leg. 13. So there's your ratio. I know you don't have four. You only have three there. I get it. Uh, but cosine of T. Cosine ratio. Cosine ratio, adjacent side over hypotenuse from angle T. What's adjacent to angle T? 15, and what's the hypotenuse? 30, always across from the right angle, remember. The hypotenuse, 15 over 39. You do not need to reduce that. You can leave it like that. How are we on finding the ratios? Because now you're actually going to use your calculator now. Going? Any questions you have? Okay. Next up. Using this to find a side. I'm going to actually go out of order here. Can you guys go to example two? We're going to do example two first, and then I'll go to one. Okay, solve for x to the nearest 10. All right, we have done a lot this unit, and I want you to tell me right now what, why what we have done will not work here. Hills and sass. Why isn't this a hill sass problem? No altitude, it's not even the diagram for it. Why won't Pythag work here? I don't even know anything about side wu, right? Why won't the 45-45 rules work? It's not even that triangle. Why won't my 30-60 rules work? It's not that kind of triangle. So everyone see nothing works right now from this unit. So I got to show you something new. And that's this sine-cosine tangent. Uh, all right. 
Remember from the last couple problems, I gave you what angle to go from. T, B, W, W. Now, when an angle is labeled, you always go from that acute angle. Going back to Mason's point, never the right angle. Always the acute angle. So we're going from 48. Can somebody identify what the 37 represents? That is the hypotenuse. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do, just to remind yourself, put a little H next to the 37. That reminds you that's the hypotenuse. What's the X side? And remember, we're going from 48. What's the X side, opposite or adjacent to the 48? Adjacent, so I'm going to put a little A there. So you have the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. Think Sokotoa or go back and look. What ratio could I find using the adjacent side and the hypotenuse side? I can use the C, which stands for cosine. All right. Now that we've found which ratio to use, we're going to write an equation to solve for x. Ready? What ratio can I find? Cosine, which we abbreviate COS. And instead of putting a V here, I actually know what V is. How many degrees? So I'm going to say the cosine of 48 degrees is equal to what ratio? What's cosine equal to again? What ratio? Adjacent. adjacent. Stop. Stop. Adjacent, which is what? X over hypotenuse, which we labeled as 37. So cosine ratio of the angle, 48, is equal to the adjacent side over hypotenuse. Now, how the heck do you solve this beast? Yeah, put it over 1. That might help. And do what now? Cross multiply. All right, everyone ready? X times 1? X. And now some of you are like, how am I going to do the cosine of 48 times 37? That's when your calc comes in, everybody. Because your calculator is programmed to do all cosine, tangent, and sine. So ready? Everyone go to your calculator. It's already in degree mode, hopefully. So we do cosine. What are we doing cosine of? 48, you got to close it. And then we're multiplying that times 37. All right, your calculator already knows the value of cosine of 48. It's programmed in. It's going to multiply that by 37, and it gives us the side length. All right, it gives us the side length. And rounding, what's it round? Nearest 10th, I ask? Nearest what? Inch, okay. So what am I going? Nearest whole number? Nearest inch would be 25 inches. Twenty-five inches. We okay there? Okay, let me see how much of number one we can get through right now. Go back to number one. Right up here, hey, right up here, number one. Still on the same page. Okay, everyone see the cute angle, 36. What's the X? Where are you going to label side X as? Hypotenuse. And what are you going to label the 15 as? That is the opposite side. All right, now go back to Sokotoa or your notes. What ratio can I use with opposite and hypotenuse? The sine, not sin, the sine ratio. So I'm going to use sine. What's that angle measure? 36 is equal to? Hold on, hold on. What's sine ratio equal to? Opposite. What's the opposite side? 15 over hypotenuse. X. And how am I going to solve this one? Put it over 1. Now watch how this is a slightly different than the last one. Cross multiply. 15 and 1. Give me 15. And then I have sine of 36 times X. But I'm still not done now. How do, how do you guys think I get that X all by itself? What do you think I have to do to the sine of 36? Divide both sides by the sine of 36. And now you guys can get out a fraction template on your calculator and type in 15 over 
the sine of 36. Okay, so fraction template, 15 over sine 36. And hopefully you're getting out 25.5. Okay. Good job today. We're right on track on the assignment sheet. Quiz tomorrow. Wednesday night's homework still on Wednesday night.